Do it, Yankee Sanders. How's it going yet again? It is Felix from MLYNews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? There's a little bit of controversy right now when it comes to Derek Jeter. As you guys all know, Marlins fans do not like the guy. There was a recent article by the NY Post. A new book is coming out where it really paints Derek Jeter as an asshole. And I see a whole bunch of Yankees fans turning on Derek Jeter. So before I begin and give my opinion, this is a snippet from the article, from the book. Derek Jeter said this when talking to John Carlos Stanton when he wanted to trade him. He said, take this deal with the Giants or the Cardinals, or I promise you, I'm trading everybody around you and you'll be stuck here forever. Well, that was crazy considering Derek Jeter's name is attached to that. But as an owner, fans are getting to see another side of Derek Jeter, not as an owner, just as a retired baseball player. And it's given ammunition to all the Yankee haters. Another thing that this article mentioned was his beef with Brian Cashman. He got angry at Cashman when Derek Jeter became a free agent, I believe, back in 2011, 2010. I believe it was 2011, where he sat down with Brian Cashman, him and his agent. And Derek Jeter didn't like the offer that Cashman presented to him. And when Brian Cashman was asked, why are you offering me this contract? It's pathetic. Brian Cashman said, hey, I can name you a whole bunch of shortstops that are better than you from the top of my head. And Derek Jeter took it as an insult. I mean, if you're Derek Jeter, you are the Yankees at this point. You are one of the names in Yankees history that is going to go down as one of the greatest Yankees of all time. So yes, Derek Jeter had a point. So this new book in this article kind of paints Derek Jeter in a different light. And I'm not going to lie, once Derek Jeter became the owner of the Marlins, whatever, he's a partner or whatever, but he is taking the moniker of owner. We all saw a different side of Jeter that we never saw before. What he was saying in media, how he was going about himself, how the Marlins fans absolutely do not like Derek Jeter to this day. They still don't like him. But obviously they will when Derek Jeter makes their team successful, which I know it's possible as the Marlins have a great history of being one of those low-budget teams that just comes out of nowhere and wins a World Series. So I want to doubt it. But as of now, Derek Jeter's name is really, I don't know, it's becoming more A-Rod. It's becoming more hated for, I don't know why, because Derek Jeter was squeaky clean on the field and he said the right things. So this is where I'm going to give my opinion. I see a whole bunch of Yankees fans calling Derek Jeter overrated. I don't know if they're new school, never seen Derek Jeter play, but I saw him. At around 10 years old... I started going to the stadium with my sister when the bleachers were about, what, six bucks, something like that. It was cheap to go to. It was a heartbreaking season. This was 1995, by the way. So the 1996 season kicks off, and I remember the opening game of Yankee Stadium was snowing. It was really a year where it just kept snowing into April, into late April, and so on. But, um, yeah, we continued to go to all these games, I'll say, like, over 40 in total. So I saw Jeter personally playing the field and on TV. And instantly, you knew that the Yankees had something there. So watching all of these subpar Yankees teams before the 1996 team and seeing them win, finally win a World Series championship, and Derek Jeter was really the piece that made it happen, it was really one of the greatest feelings in the world, especially when you're like 11 years old and then you grow up with Derek Jeter. You grow up watching Derek Jeter. So I know precisely who Derek Jeter was as a player and what he brought to the Yankees. And this is it. Jeter is Jeter. It doesn't matter if supposedly his defense is not up to par with his offense. Every game Derek Jeter took the field, you knew the Yankees had a great chance of winning that game. Derek Jeter was even more great because Derek Jeter played in the steroid era. Derek Jeter played the position of shortstop. 
And other players included Alex Rodriguez, Nomar Garcia Para, Renteria, Adornias, um, Reyes in D Jeter's later years, etc. All of these great shortstops, but Jeter was the one to win all of these championships. Jeter was the clutch one. Jeter is the one that performed come playoff time. Jeter performed all season long. Yankees fans that hate Jeter or call him overrated. What are you smoking? You are smoking some of that good stuff. Or as Derek Jeter would say, Take this deal because the deal you had with Jeter was 100. Said everything he had to say as a player, did everything he had to do as a player. What more could he ask for? So whatever controversy is going on with Derek Jeter as of now, to in my opinion, it's hogwash because Derek Jeter was a baseball player and what he was known for. Maybe you could say he's known for something else as an owner off the field, but we're talking about baseball. Derek Jeter was a great example for kids growing up. He did everything a parent would ask for or want for their child. Derek Jeter did just that. And like I said, I, it's just, in my opinion, it's just pure jealousy that Jeter is getting all of this hate after he retired as a player. That's just my honest opinion. I don't think Jeter is a villain. I think Jeter is just playing it as a businessman, just as businessmen talk to him as a player. Who knows how these businessmen, GMs, owners, etc., talk to him when he was a player. Maybe he's just copying them and putting his two cents in it. But as of now, I don't see Derek Jeter going into the Hall of Fame just as Mariano Rivera did because, in my honest opinion, he should have just waited to get elected into the Hall of Fame, then considered buying a baseball team or something else. Because, honestly, Derek Jeter wasn't so much in media after he retired, we wouldn't be hearing these stories. And if they did come out, People would be defending Derek Jeter by the boatloads instead of these Yankees fans calling Derek Jeter and essentially saying, haha, A Rod was right about Derek Jeter. Look at him now. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Derek Jeter is Derek Jeter. It's what made him great. Derek Jeter would win games. The Yankees would win, and you would just scratch your head and just say they won because of Jeter. Because Jeter did the little things to help the Yankees win, even if he didn't hit that game. His presence alone bring an aura that, hey, Jeter's on our team. We're going to win. I, for one, I'm not going to buy this book. I don't know by you guys, but I'm going to judge Jeter by what he did on the field, how he acted as a Yankee, how he acted as a baseball player, rather than judging him as Derek Jeter 2.0, Derek Jeter not playing baseball, Derek Jeter as a businessman. So, Yankees fans, tell me what you guys think. What do you guys think about this other Derek Jeter? Do you love him? Do you hate him? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from mynews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you all next time. Before it hits the front page.